All right, this is probably going to be a little shorter one, but uh, pretty excited. I finally got uh, a Pi, uh, well, in this case, the Pi 4, 4 gigabyte image up and going. Uh, I don't even really know what I'm going to call it yet, but basically it's a headless 64-bit uh, Ubuntu um, build that so far has a few of the applications that uh, Dragon OS has uh, included in it. I just kind of made this image to be more of an extension, I guess, of the Dragon OS to kind of uh, run SDRs remotely. And uh, so a couple key things, which once I upload this, I'll make sure it's clear in there. But username is Ubuntu, and the password by default is Dragon. So you can see it's 20.04.2. Uh, let me think. So this is just kind of a beta build, so you'll have to figure out um, or probably preferably purge SSH and then reinstall it so, you know, keys or whatever are, um, are fine on your end. And, and then, of course, change the password. Uh, I've not really deleted any of the history, so you can go back and see all the stuff that I was messing with or if you just want to rebuild this on your own. Uh, but let's see here. So what uh, what I'm going to demonstrate is, let's see, in the user source directory, it's kind of where I stuck most everything um, there for now. And this LMS TCP, which is kind of like RTL TCP, but for the Lime SDR, I thought that was really interesting. So let's see, we're remotely connected um, to the Pi 4 here. I've got a uh, Lime SDR Mini plugged in. And let's see, so we'll do, let's check out the settings here, LMS TCP. I'm going to change the listen address so I can get to it from the full Dragon OS. Let's see, and then I'm going to change the uh, an antenna for now. I'll just do auto. I know it's one of the available settings. So you'll see this will set up the Lime SDR. So listening on that address at that port. So we'll move this out of the way for a second. <clears throat> Come over here, open another terminal, and I'll just do the um, bone stock or the uh, GQRX that's from the package versus the newer one. Yep. So I did a dash R to reset its settings. This is running live, so I don't have the um, uh, S, uh, the SDR Play API installed, so that's why you see that warning there. But just like you do with the RTL SDR uh, TCP, we we'll use the same settings. Five, and then of course we could probably change the bandwidth to quite a bit higher. I need to mess with that and see. Let's see, sample rate, you can see what it's defaulted to. Um, so we're going to have quite a few more options. I'm kind of curious to the, of course, the, uh, the frequency range should be quite a bit higher. So we'll just leave it uh, default here. And so we see we got a connection here. Now, of course, uh, right now, this is all within the same LAN uh, network here. So if we go down to, oh, let's see, use this, <clears throat> put this mouse to the side, let's see. So we got a connection here, our gain is probably pretty high, take that down, and you can see all the settings are changing over here on this end. So, there you go, working pretty, pretty good. And that is the Lime SDR. So let's see. Trying to 
see what this tops out so I can see the frequency is still going alright so it still tops out at uh, 1.7 here um, maybe that's something to bring up with the developer or if that's something that could be changed in GQRX I'm not sure about that piece but we know that the Alignment SDR has a uh, much higher frequency range than the RTL SDR alright so that's just kind of a little uh, taste I guess you'd say of uh, what will be uploaded hopefully later today